Okay, how are we doing? My name is Anthony Stokes, a.k.a. Stokes the Writer, a.k.a. Comic Book Ant, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to take these off now. What is this YouTube channel going to be about is a question. It is going to be about entertainment. It's going to be primarily about comics, TVs, movies. There's there's maybe some sports, but it's, it's primarily going to be entertainment. That's what we can expect. We're going to get my honest thoughts about entertainment. There's bit, a, a lot of toxicity in the in the comic community that I frankly want no parts of. You know, this isn't going to be a drama channel. We're just going to talk about stuff, you know, just stuff we like. You know what I'm saying? You can expect a fair amount of positivity to negativity. You know, we're going to talk about things we like. We're going to talk about things that are doing well. You know, we're going to get into some, some things we don't like as well, but it's going to be a fair balance. It's not just going to be just a pit of just acidic garbage takes. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep we're, we, and we're going to get into criticizing a creator coming up. You can tell by the by the title of the video. I think that's fine. I, I, I don't think criticizing or checking another creator is necessarily drama. You know, uh, as long as you're as long as it's above the belt, I'm never going to criticize a creator based on their, you know, their culture, you know, saying what they what they do in their personal life. We're going to keep it above the belt and just talk about the material they make essentially or, or the takes they make or what have you. I'm going to try to upload once a week. Once a week, I'm going to try to upload. And if we if we can do more, that's great. That that'd be fantastic. My hope is that while I don't have the production value of other channels, I, I'm just starting this out. I don't have a, a deep understanding of overlays and stuff like that. I don't have a Steam Deck. My goal is to reach a new audience on YouTube. Ultimately, I am still an, a combo creator first, but I also like talking about media. I like interviewing other creators um, and I want to re, you know, be active on every single platform that I can use to that I can use to get my comic out there. You, you know what I'm saying? So it, I'm still going to prioritize making comics over everything. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 and and I, I'm not going to apologize for that. But what I'm hoping is that if I can get enough people from YouTube to buy my comics, if, I can, if I'm seeing a lot of growth in my fan base on comics, then I can start spending money and resources to having a better setup. I have the shittiest desk in the world. This is like a late 2000s like school desk. It's it's a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? I have a cool, I have a Yeti mic, which is cool. I got some decent headphones, but I have a piece of shit laptop. My laptop sucks, bro. Um, But I can't replace this stuff until I'm seeing the growth necessary. Until I'm seeing the growth necessary to, to say, okay, it's worth it to invest in these things. You know what I'm saying? If I'm making, if I'm making X amount of money, if I see an X amount of money coming from YouTube into my comics, then I can allocate that money back and, and get an update, get a better setup, get a better laptop, etc. Get a real desk, you know, get one of those cool hanging mics, you know, the mics that kind of swivel. I would love to have one of those. I, I can't I can't do that right now. So that is what the plan is right now. If anybody has any topics they want me to talk about, if anybody has um fucking discord bro i fucking i truthfully hate discord like it, it it i'm trying to close it jesus it's like impossible to get rid of this shit um okay so you might hear the discord sound i'm sorry I, i'm not the most computer savvy but hey we're just starting out we're gonna figure it out you know it's a journey i'm gonna learn you're gonna learn i'm go committed to getting better at this and you know, if you like the content, stick around. It's only, it's only gonna get it's, uh, it's only gonna get better from here. Essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm hitting the table. It's causing the laptop to shake. 
I'm, I'm going to try my best. I get passionate. Um, I wave my arms around to make a point to gesticulate. And sometimes it sometimes a laptop's going to rock. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's OK. We're going to be OK. So the first topic that I want to get into on this channel, I want to talk about Adam Ellis. Adam Ellis recently made some comments about Jordan Peele that were positive. Some might say overwhelmingly positive. He said, I'm going to try, I'm going to find this shit. And I like Adam. Let me start by saying I like Adam. I, I like Adam a lot. I think, I think bro makes great content and I think people are taking it. I think people are people are not going at him too crazy, but I think we need to help help hold people accountable. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. All right. So I'll put this here. I'm gonna shift. I'm gonna shift way over. I'm gonna shift over here. This is gonna be a little bit. Uh, you know, like I said, we're just we're just figuring things out. You know what? We're just figuring things out. Fuck it. I know this is a hot take, but at what point do we declare Jordan Peele as the best hard director of all time? He had three great films, let alone three in a row. Can you name somebody else? I can't. And then. Let me start by saying the problem with with what Al, what what Adam has said is he said this before even watching Nope, right? He has not even seen the movie that he is calling great based entirely on Rotten Tomato score. Um those who don't know, if you're if you're really heavy into the the movie community, like soloing your argument based on Rotten Tomato score is the fastest way to get clowned, bro. You that's an L. That's an automatic L. I ain't gonna lie. This this is this is a fucking this is a fucking L. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to form this better. Let me see. Yeah, this is a L. I ain't gonna lie. All right, all right, there we go. All right, yeah, there we go. I'm winging it today, guys. Be patient with me. I'm, I'm gonna figure this stuff out. Bear with me. So he says this take. All he does is screenshot. The, the Rotten Tomato score. He doesn't go into a... He, he doesn't go into it. He doesn't make a thread to say, here's why I think this is that X, Y, Z. He is literally just posting the Rotten Tomato score, which is incredibly lazy. Let's be honest. And Jordan Peele responds. Funny enough, Jordan Peele responds, said, sir, please put the phone down. I beg you. When the dick suck gets so crazy that the person... You are praising, says to chill out. You've gone wrong. Like you, you've done something wrong. This is crazy. This is a crazy tweet. I don't even think Jordan Peele is head, head and shoulders above active horror directors of, of this generation. Like Ari Esther to me is better. You know, the guy who did The Witch, The Lighthouse is better or at least comparable. He's not even the best horror director. Scott Derrickson just released the black, the, I think the black box or the black phone. I haven't seen it. But people are saying it's pretty good. The, the the Rotten Tomatoes score is pretty high. You know what I'm saying? So if that's what we're basing the argument off of, um, he might have not been the best horror director to release a movie this year. It's it's pretty crazy. It's it's a pretty crazy thing to say. I, I ain't gonna lie. And again, we're just talking. You know, not trying to not trying to uh, shit on him. You know what I'm saying? Just just give my opinion, just like he gave his. Um, somebody said Mike Flanagan says th hi three times. Mike Flanagan did Gerald's Game, Hush, and Doctor Sleep. And frankly, frankly, those are those are three great. Those are three pretty good movies. I ain't gonna lie. If, if I'm if I'm keeping it a, a hundred, I've seen Nope. You know, I had the benefit of waiting to see the movie before calling it great. I love I love Get Out. I love Nope. I think Us is is pretty mid. I think it's a bit trash. I'm taking Mike Flanagan Flanagan's um, filmography over Jordan Peele's. When you when you factor in the shows as well, um, The Haunting of Hill House is fantastic. Mid Midnight Mass was very good. Hush was great. Gerald's Game was great. Um, Doctor Sleep I didn't love, but 
certainly better than us. You know, um, you, you're you're gonna have a hard time making that argument, and uh, uh, like, so Adam says, Adam says, I'm open to discussion, but if you are coming into my mentions to say Get Out and Us are anything less than modern classics, you might as well show yourself out. And this is my problem. I didn't, I'm going to show the tweet. I'm going to show it. Um, this is my problem with like, I, I, I do hot takes. I, I, I very regularly do hot takes, but I'm always using them as a gateway to real conversation about the thing. You know what I'm saying? If I make a hot take about the MCU, I want to get your, I want to get your opinion on the MCU. I'm going to give my opinion. We don't have to agree, but you know, maybe we have a better understanding of each other. So what what Adam basically did was just throw out a hot take and then doesn't even want to argue it. He doesn't even want to grant that other people might be correct or that, hey, if you're calling us a, a, a classic, I mean, that's a that's a hot take. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you tell me why? Why don't you give me your your thoughts so I can better understand your opinion? Because what it sounds like to me and what it sounds like to a lot of people is that Adam Ellis is a casual and this is this is why this is unfortunately people are going to gatekeep when you say shit like this. Nobody you don't have to be a director to have an opinion on movies. You don't have to be, you know, Wes Craven to to have an opinion on movies. Anybody can if all you need to do to be an expert on movies or to have a, an informed opinion on movies is to watch a lot of movies. But when you say shit like this you know what I'm saying? When you say shit like this, you know what it seems like? It seems like you don't watch enough movies. You know? Um, and especially when one of the movies that you're talking about you haven't even seen. Um, I think that's an L. I, that's an instant L. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like there's there's that's I don't know how you I don't know how you even put something out the, out like that. And honestly, I think he I think he got it pretty easy. So what else did what else did Adam say? Um, what else did Adam say? I'm going to find, I'm going to find right now because he said something else. I might have to go and find it, but real quick, my thoughts on note while I hunt down that tweet. Um, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really good. I thought it was great. It might be, it might be one of the best movies I've seen this year. It, it might end up being like pretty high in my top 10. Um, but I, the reason I can say that with confidence is because I saw it, you know, I went out, uh, I paid for a ticket and I went and saw it and then gave an informed opinion. I didn't just say, look at the Rotten Tomato score. This is great. Um, so I have the tweet right here again where Adam said some wild shit. Somebody said, do you have a moment to talk about John Car Carpenter, which is a point that Jordan Peele made. You know what I'm saying? Jordan Peele grew up off of horror. A lot of a lot of these a lot of these big directors have grown up on horror. So they're going to have opinions on stuff like that. And bro said Halloween is a classic, but rest of his horror movies aren't great. They're like cult classics in my mind. Again, you're going to sound like a casual, bro. You, you, you are always going to sound like a casual when you are essentially dismissing the person who is regularly accepted as the best director in horror. When the person that you're claiming is the best director on horror on a faulty premise, because you've only seen two of the three movies that you're referring to is saying that he's the best director. You're, you know, that's, you're going to sound like a casual, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to sound like, you know, ugh, it's not, it's not a great basis. Um, so then somebody says, somebody says, the thing, the, the mouth of madness and Prince of Darkness would like, like to have a word with you, essentially. And, and, and frankly, I agree. I think, uh, I, well, I haven't seen the other two. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, hey, I'm not going to talk about a movie I haven't seen, you know, because that'd be kind of be a little weird. That'd be, that'd be an L. But the thing is fantastic. The thing is an incredible, it's an incredible movie. That thing, like that might be one of the best that's an argument for the, one of the best horror movies of all time. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Halloween is is a banger. You know what I'm saying? Halloween informed the the slasher, created the slasher genre. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not an OG horror fan. I'm just guessing based off of what people that were around for John Carpenter movies are telling me. So 
he goes, and Halloween is a, Halloween's, Halloween's a classic. They're like cult classics in my mind. So somebody says, Mouth of Madness and Prince of Darkness. What, is, what does Adam do? He posts the Rotten Tomato score. He posts the Rotten Tomato score of these movies. This is insane. The, the over-reliance on Rotten Tomatoes is insane, bro. And because, especially because we understand that the horror genre, a lot of times it takes these older movies time to 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 get an appreciation you know there weren't that many there there weren't as many cinephiles today you know what i'm saying like it wasn't right now horror is almost like the genre in movies you know you got jordan peele you got ari esther you know you have all these prolific directors making horror films in um it is it is a prestige genre now but it wasn't back then people would watch these movies and misunderstand them it would take some time for people to appreciate the movie. Um, so a Rotten Tomato score, what the hell does that even like? What does that do? And, I, you know, it's 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 a it's a shitty argument. It's a shitty argument. Um, it's I, I, I <laughs> again, this is the worst way to make an argument for a take. This is the worst way to make a hot take. And in, in if you're not going to try to spur on conversation, don't act like you are. That's kind of my problem, like I said. And then Jordan Peele, I love your enthusiasm, but I will not tolerate any John Carpenter slander. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that response. Look at that. that that's great. So, yeah, Adam Ellis, like I said, I, I, liked, I like Adam Ellis. I like Adam Ellis a lot. Um, I think he makes great content. That thing where <laughs> let people enjoy things. That was a funny meme. And then he ended up killing the meme. I mean, Adam Ellis is great. I think I think he makes fantastic content. So. <laughs> so I'm only laughing because I just saw the wildest meme. I don't even know if I could put this on YouTube. Let me not let me not get banned on my first day. Okay. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to shape this a little bit better. Like I said, bear with me, bear with me because I'm going to try to kind of, all right. So I'm going to shift over here. Okay. This is not the, this is not the best I'm learning. Hey, what do you, what do you want from me? So Adam Ellis actually makes horror comics and I thought it'd be cool to, to to review his most recent horror comic because hey I like comics you guys probably like comics like let's talk about it Adam Ellis is somebody who pre predominantly makes comics you might call them you know comedy comics maybe maybe um queer comics you might call it I, like again I think I think his 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 content is great but he's recently gone and started to make horror comics and I've I've read a bunch of them some of them are originals. Some are things that he kind of will take from Reddit and, you know, and then he'll and he'll he'll illustrate the uh, the stories and stuff like that. He had this incredible comic. Um, he, the first one I saw of his was 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 fantastic. Um, let's talk about Driftwood. So. Driftwood. Let's talk about it. Subject was 10 years old. Find some Driftwood. Took it home. Father wanted to bleach it, but she didn't want to do that shit. You know, she's like, fuck it. She wants him to hang it up. Yo, look at that fucking, look at that fucking slab right there. God damn, Adam. That's a beautiful ass. Um, she's, <laughs> She says, ah, she's screaming. All right. So, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of section. Some of this stuff is wild. I'm going to have to edit some of it. God damn it. Some of this stuff is crazy. Okay. They're in the walls or in the ceiling. She hears something. Um, she hears noises. She can't find anything. He burned it. All right, I think I'm reading this shit in reverse, actually. <laughs> I'm reading this shit in reverse. This is great. Um, there were there were bugs in the, their isopods in the driftwood. You know. 
Um, she got scared. She fell asleep. She never woke up. Um, they, 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 they cut her open and her head is full of isopods. Um, let's talk about the comic. Let's talk about the comic. It's beautifully illustrated. Um, I'm also only posting this stuff because this is, this is on his Twitter. So I'm, I'm not posting any, this is stuff that he posted publicly. Um, the, the illustration is beautiful. The panel layout is, is fantastic. Adam definitely knows how to make a comic book. I love these colors. I can't say enough good things about the technical aspects of this comic book. Um, it's very, it's very spare on dialogue. It, it looks great. Now, I think this is, I don't think this is a great horror comic. I don't, um, I think it's very, I, I, I don't think it's, it's very shallow, you know, it's not very disturbing. It, it's not, it's not very deep. There's not a lot. I, I would say it's simple and simple does not mean bad. Simple does not automatically mean bad, but this is something that I would probably read and not think of, honestly. Um, the guy, the guy that I, I think, and I'm only reviewing this also, if you're going to shit on John Carpenter, you need to have some bangers, right? Like you need to have some fire shit. Um, and this is, this is, this is the comic book. I, I don't know. I, I, I hate to sound like really harsh, but this sounds like somebody, yeah, this, this is a comic book that I would expect, expect somebody that would disrespect the horror genre like Adam did. I mean, it's, this is a non horror writer's idea of horror. Um, there's not much psychological here. There's not much to really grab one to. It's just bugs are icky. Um, if I sound dismissive of this comic book, he was very fucking dismissive of the other creators in the horror genre. So forgive me. I mean, I would give the comic like a, like a five out of 10. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. I think, I think Adam's going to grow and, and make better content, but you know, it's, it's, it's fine. Now let's talk about somebody who is making great comic shorts. I think Junji, Junji Ito, and I hope I'm saying his name right. But probably not. Let's be honest. This guy is a prolific. I'm going to I'm going to call it hard. Let's say hard manga. But, you know, comic, you know, like, let's just pretend that he's a comic writer. Obviously, he does manga. But his imagery is so crazy. His imagery is just great. It's haunting. He gets inside your head. He has a a, a powerful understanding of of the human psyche to tell these super creepy stories and it just shows that there's levels to this which we which we probably knew there's levels to this shit this is the this is probably a, a comparable artist to jordan peele as, as it as it pertains to horror this guy is amazing and it just shows you the difference in somebody that's a horror master versus somebody who's just kind of trying it you know trying it working getting better um if this dude this dude probably you know I'm, I'm just using this comparison this dude probably wouldn't say jordan peele's the best horror director you know this this is a guy who's probably influenced by some some great american horror and we can tell we can tell this guy is this guy's a beast shots out to junji but i'm just showing you what an elite horror comma looks like so Shouts out to shouts out to Adam Ellis. You know, I I disagree with you. I disagree with you, crazy bro. But um, comic is definitely de comic is definitely all right. I think you have some some things to learn about the genre, and um, I, I like I said, I enjoy his content. This is not a dragging. Just just my commentary on the whole thing and and the the, the what the the goings on about that. But that is my that's my first video. You know, let me got know what you guys think. Let me know what what can be approved upon I'm, I'm still working out the logistics the showing the screen not showing the screen i only have one monitor 
So uh, I'm starting to appreciate the utility of having two different monitors. It's it's kind of blowing my mind. There goes the there goes the fucking uh, there goes the fucking Discord thing. I swear to God, I hate Discord. She's the worst. So if you like this, like and subscribe. Go check out Adam Ellis. Go check out his his comics, horror and otherwise. Go check out Jordan Peele. I'm gonna try to watch some John Carpenter movies soon because I want to be an informed horror writer because I write I write horror myself. Um, and yeah, thank you so much, guys, and let me know what you think.